Welcome to my place. Thank you very much for showing some interest in my 1954 Chop Top Plymouth Station Wagon. They're, they were known as Suburbans, and this is a two-door with a chop, four-inch chop. Incidentally, the windshield is laid back as a stock windshield. When I first bought this car, I had to buy a windshield for it. A stock windshield goes right in, and they are available. Here's included this is the pictures that you see and the sign. Those are pictures when the car first came out of a backyard in Bakersfield, California and during the construction. I have some spare parts that go with it. A fuel pump, or pardon me, a water pump, a starter, motor mounts, there's a can of touch-up paint, there's a couple ignition modules modules because it does have electronic ignition, and there's three fan belts and some other little pieces in there, an extra ignition switch. And I also have a nice cover that goes for it. It's not one of these $49.95 covers. It's a, it was about a $300 cover for the car. This car hasn't been started a couple of weeks, so I'll fire it up. It starts every time. No reason to think it won't. And uh, we'll pull it outside and we'll do a walk around. This is a 1957 Dodge D500 engine. It was a one-year engine only, 325 cubic inches. You can always, you can tell these, it's, it's one year only on the rocker covers. You'll will notice the bubbles on top. That's because this engine was originally a mechanical lifter. And when I, the engine was rebuilt, it's hydraulic lifter now. Everything other there is painted, chrome, powder coated, billet pieces. It's all cool, all works. Everything on the car works, even the clock runs. Power antenna, it's wrenched in, does have a drain hole. The dash is custom off, has the air conditioning vents are built in, they're not hanging. That's a one-off custom-made console with the clock in it and the air conditioner controls plus the control for the electric cutoffs for the exhaust system. That's a B&M shifter and there's cup holders. The seats, I had the, when I bought it, it had all black interior in it and I put the red inserts in the seats. There are seat belts in the car for four people. And this is, there's no tinny sound when you close these doors. lights with the back seat folded it folds flat and from here up is five feet seven inches so you could sleep in there overnight I'm six two I wouldn't do it but you could if you wanted to all this stuff was plated Like a modern car, has a flip-up gas door. <laughs> the 
It gauges an auto meter and has a tack, power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, and remote roll down window switch. Also has uh, four courtesy lights inside the car. These windows right here, they slide, they open up so you can get ventilation in it. Okay, we're going to get in this car now. We're going to go for a ride and we're going to go down on the freeway here and uh, we're going to show you how this car accelerates and runs. You'll be impressed. Cameraman, get in. <laughs> freeway now and I want you to be impressed with how this car runs and how fast it goes. This car goes as fast as you want to drive it. Stops on a dime, the disc brakes are really good on the car. It's fun to drive and just sit back and put the wheel where you want it, turn the tunes up, turn the air and the heat on and you're off and running. Bring the family along, bring your mother-in-law along. Well, maybe not your mother-in-law, but bring your family along. It kicks right down and goes. When we get down to 60 miles an hour, look at, look at the tack. Okay, 60 miles an hour and we're about 1900 RPM. At that speed you get 18 to 20 miles a gallon, burns regular gasoline.